What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn what is the minimum stopping distance while braking. So without spending much time, let's start now. Braking performance of the vehicle can be seen by braking efficiency. The braking efficiency is given by NB equals to D by G whole divided by mu. Okay, we get this from the ideal braking condition which is mu into mg equals to m into d ideal. d ideal is the d acceleration in the ideal condition. Fine. Mass equals to gamma b into w by g where gamma b is an equivalent mass factor taking into account the mass movement of the inertia of the rotating components involved during braking. Okay, so this is our equation 1. Now, acceleration is given by v into dv by ds. Here, d acceleration is a. a into ds is equals to v into dv. This is our equation 2. Now, acceleration will be equals to fp plus sigma of r whole divided by m. This is our equation 3. Fine. Basically, it is acceleration equals to force by mass. Now, sigma r is basically the sum of all the supporting forces for the braking. So, sigma r equals to ra plus fr into w into cos theta plus or minus w sin theta. Plus is taken when we are going uphill and minus is taken when we are going downhill. Fine. Here R is the aerodynamic force. Fr into W into cos theta is the rolling resistance and W sin theta is due to weight. The aerodynamic force is given by Cd into A into V square whole multiplied by rho by 2. Fine. Where Cd is the drag coefficient, A is the projected area and V is the velocity, rho is the density. As you can see in the aerodynamic equation that Cd, A and Rho, all three are constant. So I'm taking Cd into A into Rho by 2 equals to another constant which is Ca. So Ra is directly proportional to V square or Ra equals to Ca into V square. So after putting the value of the Ra in sigma R, we get the following equation. This is our equation 4. Now using equation 1, 2, 3 and 4, we get integration of ds equals to gamma b multiplied by w by g whole integration of v dv divided by fb plus fr into w cos theta plus or minus w sin theta plus ca into v square okay and i'm going to integrate it from v2 to v1 v2 is the final velocity and v1 is the initial velocity s is positive that's why i've taken from v2 to v1 so on integrating this we got the distance value equals to this and for the final speed to be 0, that is the stopping distance, S can be written as this. Stopping distance is minimum when the braking efficiency is 100%, gamma b is equals to 1 and fb is equals to mu into w. So from this we get the minimum stopping distance equals to this. So this is our minimum stopping distance. If the braking efficiency is less than 100%, then the stopping distance is given by this equation. In this equation you can see that mu into w is multiplied by the braking efficiency and other things all are same. There is one thing to note, it should be pointed out that in practice there is a time lag between the application of the brakes and the full development of the braking force. This time lag depends upon the response of the brake system. So the additional stopping distance SA may be calculated from SA equals to TD into V1 where TD is the response time and V1 is the initial velocity. So the final stopping distance will be the sum of this. So this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do share the video with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you have any queries, you can also check my blogs on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.